Nate Leonard, a guy who just came through the program not too long ago, and now he's he's coaching you guys. It's um, it's definitely a huge help just because he's been through the whole system, and he excelled in it really well. You know, looking at his film. So definitely we want to you know, take advice from him and learn from him so we can excel just as much. Well, when you're learning a scheme that's you know more similar to something that he actually ran when he was here, you said you watched his film specifically. What can you learn from watching somebody's film who played here, whatever it was, I mean, seven years ago or something? Just play fast and hard, you know, get downhill quick and go in with a force. Well, the linebackers in general, one of the deepest and most talented positions on the team. What are you seeing from the rest of the guys around you that, you know, gives you some confidence for what you're going to put on the field this fall? The fact that they like to compete, you know what I mean? Nobody wants to be second string or third string. Everybody wants to start and spot, so... With that much competition and much that much depth, this is going to make our core really strong. How about you in terms of comfort? I, I mean, it seems like you were a little bit uncomfortable last year at times, having a position that was different from what you were accustomed to the season before that. Feel like you're getting back on track? I mean, what's, what's your role really in this defense? I definitely feel more comfortable inside rather than outside, just because... Um, I, I feel like I can see more rather than just one side of the ball, mm. and I can react both ways rather than just one. How about the guys ahead of you? Uh, defensive line. I mean, I've, I've heard a lot of good things about Christian Brown, who's currently walking right behind you in the shot on my camera. He just waves at the camera. Um, how about guys like him and the other ones that you will be backing up this year? What have you seen from them? Oh, it's exciting. I'm excited. Um, you know, they're definitely stepping up their game. You know, seeing how we lost a few players on the D line, but they're definitely you know filling that role and now are playing strong. Can't really wait until camp to see what they can do when they get in fast again. Yes, uh, lead is the, the motto this, this summer. What, what does that mean to you or what is it supposed to mean to you? Just, you know, what would you do for your brother next to you? you know what I mean, how far would you go for the, you know, brother beside you? You know, as hard as it takes, what would you sacrifice for each other to get that same common goal, which is the championship? Thank you, sir. No you talk about the depth the experience of linebackers for you and Nick and Ian and all, and all those guys. Do you expect more competition uh, this fall for the starting spots, those three starting spots? Mm -hmm. Definitely. Like I said, all the linebackers love to compete, you know what I mean? And none of them want to be second best or second string or third string at all. You know what I mean, everybody wants that starting spot. And everybody has their talent. Some of them may be faster, some may be stronger, some may be smarter. Whatever it is, we're all going to be put in the situation that best helps the team in that certain scenario. But there's definitely a lot of competition to where nobody's comfortable to just sit in that spot. How many of those guys are personally complete inside? I can play um, I would say most of them. You know what I mean? I think I really have like 15 guys. I would say at least 10 can <laughs> play. You know, either Will or or um, Will or Sam. You know what I mean? Um, but majority, all of them is you know universal. What is what is guy like Walter? Because we've heard Coach Gibson talk about him. He can play outside. He can play inside, and really kind of strengthen uh, the defense. Definitely. Um, Ed's a quick learner, and he's really fast on his feet. Uh, he's gonna uh, create a lot of trouble for maybe some nickel packages or something like that, you know, coming off the edge. Um, even in pass coverage, you know, he can stick with, you know, almost anybody, you know, when it comes to speed. So um, having him out there, you know, wherever they put him, you know, you decide to put him in any situation, he's going to excel in it. Do you guys feel like you have the amount of numbers you can compete in that pass happy every down, big 12, where all runs run, 70 to 80 places? Yeah, I, I think so. I think so, especially because um, and now we have in like five DBs, you know what I mean? So it's definitely going to help in that scenario and um, not put the linebackers in such a bad situation, <laughs> you know, try to guard, you know, four, two receivers, you know, so definitely it helps us out in a way. No problem. Could you uh, talk a little bit about the running back group that this team has? I mean, how does that diversity help you to prepare for what you're going to see um, around the line of scrimmage, around the, the whole Big 12? Um, I feel like we have a 
very diverse running back core. You know what I mean? Everybody has their strengths and weaknesses out of all the running backs. So um, regardless what back we're going against, we, I feel like we're going to see some type of that in any one of our games. So, so you feel being out on the field uh, every every day with these guys, do you feel like that's going to make your crew stronger? Oh, most definitely. Yeah, no, no doubt about it. Clinton being named the guy, has he noticed the difference among the offensive guys? And does it mean anything to the defenders as well? Um, not really. You know what I mean? Like I said, nobody's safe. I mean, we can we can say you know anybody's starting, anybody's not starting. But at the end of the day, the one who performs the best is going to play on the field. So you know what I mean? As of right now, Clint is playing the you know. Looks like he's playing the best right now, so he is getting that spot as of right now. But like I said, nobody's safe ever.